Hey there. Welcome to Product Marketing Maestros, Tales from the Front Lines. I'm your host, Nathan Kartik. As director of product marketing and a top product marketing voice, I've always found that real world case studies are the true litmus test for the effectiveness of any product marketing strategy. And that is why in this show, we dive into the minds of industry titans, as well as rising stars, unpacking their expertise in action-packed episodes that showcase the power of product marketing through real world case studies. And today, my friends, we are joined by product marketing maestro, Amitai Richman, who is a product marketing alliance ambassador and director of product marketing at K2 View in Israel. Amitai has over five years of product marketing experience in B2C growth, B2B SaaS product-led growth, and sales-led enterprise B2B. As a full-stack marketer with a passion for product marketing and growth, Amitai believes in disrupting the status quo, asking questions, and always learning. Born and raised in Englewood, New Jersey, Amitai moved to Israel after high school. Throughout his illustrious career, Amitai has obsessed with understanding his target audience and doing a lot more. At Seeking Alpha, Amitai quadrupled annual recurring revenue. He curated the site's most successful newsletter with over 5 million subscribers. He created impactful functional specifications for new product features and many, many other accomplishments. Amitai is bilingual in English and Hebrew and earned his MBA at Bar Ilan University in Israel. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it's an absolute honor. Let's welcome Amitai Richman. Amitai, welcome to the show. Thank you, Nitin, for having me. It's great to be here. Excellent, excellent. Wonderful, Amitai. So today, we will give the audience a situation from your experience. And Amitai, we'll use the ABC framework. So we'll talk about the antecedents, what were the prior challenges. We'll talk about the behaviors, what were some of the actions that you took. And we'll talk about the conclusion, how things played out. So with that, Amitai, pick a situation from your experience and tell us what were the antecedents, what were the prior challenges? Sure, thank you, Nitin. So I'd like to tell you about my experience at K2View. I joined K2View two years ago. And if you're not familiar with K2View, K2View is a data product platform helping enterprises with various data integration use cases. The company is a visionary in Gartner's Magic Quadrant, and we tend to focus on customers in the financial services, telecom, and healthcare industries. So when I joined K2View, there was another director of product marketing who was responsible for the company's core products, and I was assigned the company's niche products. The first challenge that I had was actually understanding the products and the platform because you mentioned the experience that I had at Seeking Alpha, which is a, a website, a B2C company. And I had some experience in B2B, but actually I had no experience in B2B enterprise. And I had no experience in the domain of that K2View is in. So the first challenge I had actually was understanding the company's products and platforms and competitors, the technology. Um, and, and that was the first challenge that, that I had. The second challenge that I had was actually getting these niche products to flourish and to gain traction in the market. Now, while the company and the platform had some customers in this area, it was by definition a niche product, so only a few customers um, and not a lot, a lot of experience. The company was not well known in these areas. And so my challenge was getting the message out there that we have the experience and the technology capable to solving customers' problems in, in, in these areas. So again, to sum up the second challenge, the first challenge was how do I get to understand the domain and the, the technology and the company and the products? And the second was how to gain traction for my niche products. Wow, twin challenges, right? Not just one challenge, but two. And Amitai, what I like is I think a lot of the folks in the audience may face similar challenges, right? Maybe they're new to their company, maybe even new to the industry, and they're trying to come up to speed. At the same time, they have to project strength, right? That their products are experts. So I think a lot of our audience would love this challenge. Okay, so given the challenges, the antecedents, now Amitai, let's talk about the behaviors. Tell us about some of the actions that you took to overcome some of these challenges. So yeah, so first of all, I'm blessed with having a great manager, the CMO at K2View. Uh, he, he believes that the best way to learn is to do. So he asked me to do a webinar on my product three months into my stint at K2View. Now, I felt woefully unprepared, but by having to do a, a technology-based webinar um, three months in, I really had to do a deep dive into everything and, and be able to talk intelligently about it. So to do that, I spent the first three months, the first 90 days on the job, 
uh, listening to calls with customers, uh, participating in calls with protest prospective customers, reading Gartner industry research, finding everything that I can on the internet on the subject matter of the product. So I took a deep dive into truly understanding the pains of my ICP, the persona, and understanding the challenges that they have with data um, on a day-to-day -day basis. And not only that, but I also looked at competitors and the different approaches that there are in the market to solving the problem that, that, that our target personas have. So that's, that's how I um, got up to speed um, on, on the domain and, and, and on the market. Regarding the second challenge, how to build a pipeline for our products. So first of all, it started with rebuilding the positioning and messaging of the product. And as a product marketer, it's, it's my job to really understand the, the market and the value proposition, the unique selling proposition that we have, and to define exactly how we differ from our competition and, 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 and craft that message in a compelling way that's going to address the pains of our target audience. So once we did that, the next thing is getting the message out there. And that's exactly what we did. We got the message out there in as many places as possible. We focused at first online with uh, you know, websites and SEO and creating content and paid campaigns such as on LinkedIn and Google Ads. So on Google Ads, for example, I completely re revamped all of the ads, all the headlines, all the descriptions, and we saw um, we, we started seeing a lot more leads being coming in, and those turning into uh, into opportunities. And, and lastly, the last thing that I did was we spent a lot of time training and working with the sales team on on enablement. So uh, we built a new sales deck. We spent a lot of time with them reviewing the messaging, our unique selling proposition. We looked at our competitors, how we differ from our competitors, what advantages our uh, platform has, technologically speaking, and, uh, and, and what we can offer our uh, customers. And all of that uh, was how we dealt with uh, this challenge. Wow, amazing, Amitai. So I can see how you were very systematic, right? You had these challenges, you were new, but you took these actions boldly to try and overcome them. So wonderful. Amitai, let's bring it home. You already alluded to some of the uh, conclusion and how things played out, but tell us, how, how did things really play out from your perspective here? So um, I told you that I was um, responsible and I am responsible for our niche products, but what actually what happened was that after several months, um, after I joined K2View, uh, we were able to build such a significant pipeline for these niche products, and, and the company strategically pivoted to focus on these niche products um, at the expense of some of the core products. So um, this was um, how things played out, is that we were able to um, bring in new customers, a new pipeline for the niche products, and actually change them and turn them from niche products to core products. Absolutely fabulous. Wow. So this is really amazing. Some things I want to highlight for the audience. Sometimes we think of certain products as core and certain products as niche, but it may be the other way around, right? It may be a situation of the tail wagging the dog where the niche products become the emphasis and the core products, right? The situation mm -hmm. is always evolving. So be nimble and be ready to be flexible. Wonderful. So thank you, Amitai. Excellent story. Thank you very much. Amitai, for people who want to learn more about you, where can they find out more? Sure. So I'm happy to connect on LinkedIn. Um, you'll see that I write about, uh, I like to write about AI and product marketing. Uh, as you mentioned earlier, I'm also working with the Product Marketing Alliance as an ambassador in Tel Aviv. Uh, I organize events for the Product Marketing Alliance. We have one scheduled in a few weeks at Meta in Tel Aviv. Very excited about that. I'll be speaking there as well. Um, yeah, so I think LinkedIn is the best place to find me and I'm happy to connect and, and chat with you on LinkedIn. Wonderful, wonderful. Folks, so there you have it. Definitely hit up Amitai on LinkedIn. And if you are based in Tel Aviv, attend one of these summits. I think you'll learn a tremendous amount from Amitai and the other product marketers out there. So thank you, Amitai. My friends, armed with that knowledge, let's make the magic happen.